Hello, I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's a quick look at today's top stories. First of all, the two Chattanooga police officers fired for beating an inmate won't be returning to the force. City officials have reached an $88,000 settlement with former officers Sean Emmer and Adam Cooley. Each will be receiving $15,000 in addition to back pay and pension contributions. In return, the officers have agreed to drop their $500,000 lawsuit against the city. A North Georgia teacher has been charged with cruelty to children. 39-year-old Jeremy Clements Bandy was arrested Monday and booked in the Chattooga County Jail. He's a teacher at Lafayette High School. Authorities say he's facing charges of third-degree cruelty to children and battery under the Family Violence Act. HCA Healthcare is buying Grandview Medical Center in Jasper, Tennessee. The purchase will add a fifth Chattanooga area hospital to HCA's Park Ridge Health System. The 70-bed hospital is currently owned by Nashville-based Capella Healthcare. HCA actually owned the hospital about a decade ago and sold it off in 2005. Now the company is buying it back. Terms of the agreement haven't been disclosed, but the sale should be finalized by March. Denso Manufacturing is planning to expand its Athens, Tennessee plant and add 130 new jobs. The company is investing $55 million in the expansion to boost production of fuel injectors for the American auto market. The new announcement is in addition to a $50 million expansion that also added 130 jobs last year. A Lafayette man arrested in November after he accidentally shot his girlfriend is back in jail. 23-year-old Matthew Tyler Webb is now facing new charges in that incident. He's been charged with seven crimes, including hunting with illegal ammunition, hunting without a license, and discharging a firearm under the influence. Webb had been hunting deer in the woods near his home when he shot what he thought was an animal, but turned out to be his girlfriend. But now investigators say Webb smoked meth earlier that day. They believe that's the only reason he fired his gun. If he had been sober, they say he would have been more patient before pulling the trigger. Students were evacuated from Chickamauga Elementary School Monday after pepper spray was released in the school. A letter sent home by the school system says two Gordon Lee High School students discharged their pepper spray containers at the elementary school to quote, check them out. Superintendent Melody Day says the students didn't intend to cause any harm. Some teachers and students experienced coughing, and a school maintenance technician was sent to investigate, so emergency services weren't called. Day says the older students were at the school as part of a child development program to tutor students. A teenager has been arrested after shots were fired near Hamilton County High School. Authorities say 18-year-old Joshua Lander discharged a firearm near the adult high school on Tuesday. The campus was immediately put on lockdown, though no one was injured in the incident. Lander was charged with reckless endangerment and carrying a weapon on school property. Six months after the alleged crime, Lafayette police have arrested a man they say exposed himself to two children. Authorities say William Edward Sabek went into the bathroom of a home with an 11-year-old girl last July. The 23-year-old then reportedly told the girl to take off her clothes before he groped her and took off his own clothes. A 10-year-old boy was standing in the shower at the time. Sabak ran away after the children told their mothers what had happened, but he hadn't been found until Thursday. Now police have charged him with two counts of child molestation, enticing a child for indecent purposes, and sexual battery. In sports news, East Ridge High School coach Catherine Neely is retiring after 50 years. She ends her career with close to 1,400 volleyball victories, the third most in the nation. And Neely is the only woman from Tennessee in the National High School Hall of Fame. She says it's the hardest decision she's ever had to make, but she will stay on as the school's athletic director. Also, after three seasons, Ricky Holiday has resigned as football coach at Meigs County. He's remaining on staff at the school, but says he wants to do what is best for the program. Across the state line, Cahola Creek High School has hired Chad Barger to coach its football team. He previously spent five seasons coaching at Sequatchie County. And finally, Mark Rose is returning to coach football at North Jackson High School in Alabama. Rose coached the Chiefs from 2000 to 2008 and says he's returning for one reason, 
to win the state championship. Turning to weather, we'll see some rain today with a high near 38 degrees. The low tonight will be around 22. That's it for today's newscast. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news all day long at timesfreepress.com.